Hey guys, welcome back to Double T Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to get far, or not really show you, but some tips and hints for exo zombies. And I, far as I've gotten, is 32 with about with three people, I think. I mean, that's not far, but that's it's farther than most people can say. And this zombie is it's really different from the other zombies. It goes by a lot faster, and it just like the upgrading is a lot different and everything. But I'll explain that too. So, the first thing, the main thing, is that you want to camp in the contamination room. So, do not, I'm about to show it in a second, but do not open this door. Just don't, like, leave it closed. If this door gets open, then it's going to be a lot harder for you guys to get farther. So, just camp in the contamination room, and usually you want to go in there when you, get, when you have all the guns you want. Like, if you're playing with four people, then... I recommend like two people having monkeys, two people having nano swarms, but you probably want to get in there by at least round 15, and then it, and then that's when the zombies really start coming. All right, another thing, another thing to help you get far, cush I call it cushion perks. But when you go down in the zombies, you don't lose all your perks at once. You lose them one at a time. I don't I, I don't really know if that makes sense, but when you go down, the latest perk you got, it'll start blinking over here, over here on the right and as soon as it's like it'll start blinking and when the blinking is gone that means the perk is gone but you have like a five second window to get back up for that perk not to be gone so what I always do I always buy quick revive last because that's that's the cheapest perk you can get and it's also the most easily one found and everything and you could have, and actually in this zombies you can have all five perks at once instead of back in black ops 2 and black ops 1 where you can only have one perk or four perks at once excuse me yeah, so just get quick revive last, and I, yeah, just keep your cushion perks. Always have that up, and make sure jug is the first one you get, because that's that's most important by far. All right, another thing, upgrading guns. In this, you can upgrade the guns to level 20, unless you do the Easter egg, and you could go to 25, and it costs 2,500 per upgrade, and each time you upgrade, you get maximum ammo. But just don't. I know natural reaction you want to get that gun to 20 as fast as you can but you got to keep in mind that when it does get maxed out it's pretty much you pretty much don't have any more ammo if you run out unless you get a max ammo which is always something tough to keep in mind so I mean I would recommend having a maxed out gun probably by like around 25 when the zombies really start getting hard but just try to keep your guns even until then and just be sure to like keep it at a good pace all right another thing when you upgrade it if you get a gun out of the box and you upgrade it and then you put it back in the box or the 3d printer in this but if you put it back in the 3d printer if you hit the if you hit the 3d printer again and you get the same gun it will be upgraded already to the one to when you put it in it's kind it's pretty useful so if you're ever in an emergency or something and you have to put away a gun then you're and that if you're ever in an emergency and you put away a gun and you get it back out it's already going to be upgraded with full ammo which is always good so that's that's pretty much all i can say just stay in the contamination room as i am right now i'm trying to show it a little bit but i'm only around three or whatever or four so just stay in the contamination room keep make sure people have distraction drones and nano swarms and remember that you get one new one every round so be sure to use it and yeah just keep your guns at a good pace if you're ever in an emergency just put a gun in the box, you always get it back later, same upgrade. And always keep that cushion perk to make sure all your important perks stay up. And that's all I can say, guys. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, thank you for watching Double T Gaming. If you have any other suggestions or something, just leave it in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.